Got him, Fred? Yep, I got him. Well done, mate. Good morning, Melbourne. <laughs> this is Fred Go. A lot of people may not know that name, but I'm sure you'll know this name, Gamoku. He's the guy who started it. And he goes, Lee, I've got to come to Australia. I've got to try this light jigging. And I'm like, Fred, get over here because I want to know the finer points of it. So exciting. We've hardly started. There's boats all around. No one's catching a fish. And Fred goes, I reckon we'll catch these fish, Lee. It's taken him about, I don't know, a minute and we're into the action. That's a decent fish, mate. Well done. Thank you, Lee. Is this different to what you're used to, Fred? Like there's no tide here, it's very slack water. Back home, are you fishing in tide? Yes, we usually fish with a little bit of tide. But um, when, the, when there's no tide movement, we find that usually the fish tends to go for what we call a reaction bite. That's what we are um, trying to teach the audience today. I'm presenting the jig in a very ultra slow yes. manner, what we call slow jigging. Yep. Using a slow four jig. Which is different to what a lot of people are probably used to with that really fast sort of movement jig for high speed fish. That's like right, Lee. Fish and... Exactly, exactly. So what I was, do what I was doing that um, I tried to work the jig up, up to like a meter to five meters. Yes. Using just one and two. Just very gentle. Very gentle and let the jig fall in a very natural manner. And just when our second drop, yeah, I got hit. And it looks like, mate, you've got your first Australian snapper. I better grab the net. Oh, oh well done, Fred. <laughs> <laughs> first Australian snapper. That's it. Well done, Thanks, mate. Lee. That is so good. And like I said, so impressive. There's four or five boats around us, and the guys are sitting here catching nothing. And I said to Fred, the good thing is everyone does the same thing. Everybody's bait fishing, no one's catching anything. And Fred just comes over from Singapore and he shows us all how it's done. Fred, you better hold your first Australian snapper, mate, because that is very, very impressive. I've been doing a bit of jigging over the last 12 months for snapper, catching a few of them, but just seeing Fred even in five minutes, the way he does it, you just go, I've picked up some pretty cool stuff. Now, Fred, that's the Koika jig. Yes. This is a brand new colour that Fred's been working on. And that colour, mate, is that a good one for reaction bite, just being bright and... Or yes. Is it... I find that usually the high contrast jigs tends to have a better reaction bite. This is one of the new colours that we developed. Yep. Sort of like uh, we were targeting most of the snapper species. An interesting fact is that we say that fishers are colour blind, but how do they recognise each other? They seem, yeah, they see, they see something. Maybe they don't see orange as orange, but they see it as something. Yes, exactly. That is awesome, mate. I'm going to grab the camera so we can get a photo of this fish and then we can pop it back. You're a champ. All right. Thank you, Lee. So, Fred, what is the overall concept of gomoku jigging. Why is it different to any other form? Well, the concept about gomoku jigging is like, um, it's more like trying to try various techniques. Yes. As well as to try different kind of jigs. Okay. To entice the fish to bite in different kind of condition. Yes. You know, fishes are not like always biting throughout the whole day. Are we talking about gonna get what's called a reaction bite? Yes, exactly. So, uh, Gomoku concept um, has also evolved in, in the terms of like using different techniques. And one of the latest techniques that I have been learning for the past one and a half years is what we call slow jigging. Yes. Yes, this actually is coming from the um, learning from the Japanese. Okay. Yep. And so, it's more of like presenting the jig in a very slow manner, unlike the traditional of uh, fast jigging. Yes. And um, so like present the bait or rather the jig in a very natural manner as well as to have a induce a reaction bite. Especially when the current is slack, the fish are not active. So okay. reaction bite tends to be the ones that actually catches a fish more. Okay, so what we're doing here, we're working the jig slowly, pretty much just dancing in front of their face. Yes, exactly. Just to make them bite. Correct, exactly. So far it's working. <laughs> so far so good. Show me how to do it again. All right. <laughs> 